Okay, so tell me, what are you? Well, I don't, I don't call God, God, because God has a D in it. So I call God G, G-E. Because in, in the scriptures it is written that, um, the, you know, God is the source of life, yes? Yeah, yeah. So in, in Genesis, Genesis has G and a G-E. Yeah? I'll just move off the back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what? Genesis has G and G E. God has G in it. Yes. Yeah. And de devil has D in it. So D E is a prefix for devil, and in our language, that means to separate. Ge Genesis and generation of life, genetics and geology. All, all relate to joining physical forms together to create life. Okay, so, so what do you see. call God then? Well, I see God as the source of life. If right, you want to, okay. Let's, let's, all right, let's say God, yes. God is the source of life. But I don't think um, this D in God is the, the true expression. I don't think God think really. That the devil is trying to form a partnership with God. No, of course not. He can't do that. And you know, if you read the Bible and use the Bible as your source, it tells you the relationship between God and the devil. So the devil in Isaiah chapter 14 wanted to be like the Most High, wanted to be like God, yeah. and so God kicked him out of heaven. What is it? Okay. And he then came down and deceived. Um, he then came down and deceived. Uh, Eve, and the, so sin came to all men. So, can I ask you, do you believe in Jesus? I, I don't practice belief. I, I practice knowledge. You practice knowledge? Because if a person believes in something, it leaves you susceptible to being tricked by people who will, you know, want you to take their word for something and, um, you know, get you to believe in something with no, no proof you know so I, I like to seek the knowledge rather than believing something belief is not something I practice okay well Jesus said that unless you believe in him then you'll perish in your sin so yeah. if you so you if, you see it's not about um, being deceived into being tricked and believing in some particular religion all right but it's about your own personal relationship with Jesus and that's what it's about so you need to come to this realization that you're a sinner I'm a sinner we all sin yeah and so no amount of work we do will be good enough to earn us a place in heaven we can't do no work okay and so God himself he came down he took on human flesh he suffered and died in our place, was buried and raised again on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and you confess Jesus with your mouth, then Jesus will save you. He'll regenerate you, change your heart, reconcile you back to God, yeah, and you'll I'm have a relationship. I'm not in conflict with that. Okay, I'm but okay, so do you read the Bible? Um, I have. I've studied religions. Okay, well, it's not about religion. It's about relationship. It's about you coming to this realization that you're a sinner and that you need a savior. And then you believing in Jesus Christ. You believing that he is God, that he died for you, was buried and raised on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and you tell Jesus, he'll save you. He'll give you a new heart, give you the Holy Spirit and reconcile you back to God. You'll be born again. And it will be through your faith in Jesus Christ. So it's about you coming to know Jesus. So my advice to you is, okay, I know you have all these ideas about you know what all I don't this have stuff any ideas. okay regarding like God and all this stuff but get to know Jesus read the Bible and get to know Jesus look at him look at what he did for you on the cross look at the reason why he did it look at his miracles look at the way in which he lived his life I don't life. get nothing from Jesus well that's because you don't believing, know him believing in Jesus has done nothing for because you don't believe in him you haven't met no. him you've got to have a personal encounter with him if you truly believed in Jesus in your heart you would be if regenerate I in Jesus the but, devil would probably kill me <laughs> no but the devil can't touch you because Jesus yeah, would protect you because, so because the Jesus would protect you protect well you do we I all do we none of us so, can that none of I've us can live my whole life not believing in Jesus and I'm alive yeah, yeah, okay on, none of us can have victory uh, over this world sin or the devil without Jesus Christ on crosses and being slaughtered by Muslims yeah Jesus but you know what that's a blessing 
To be my, to die for your faith is a blessing. It's a blessing to be to die for Jesus would be a blessing. It's not a hardship. You know, Bob said to me, right? Bob is not a Christian. Listen to this. Bob said to me that although I don't um, believe that Jesus is my saviour, so that no, no matter if I um, acknowledge that Jesus is, you know, what he is. That I, I don't really, um, you know, I'm not saved because of that, or that I don't have any personal relationship. So what did Bob say to you? I, I, I can't remember. It's on a. So video. basically, you don't have to acknowledge Jesus no, to be saved. You know, I have to um, believe in Jesus um, being my God yeah, and my Savior. Um, to recognise his words and um, accept uh, that he, he, you know, what he was here for. Yeah, Bob also teaches salvation by know, I don't have to accept that at all. Yeah, you do. Because I don't because, care. But you do. See, I'm not bothered. But you should be, because you're going to meet right. God. Because the wrath of God abides on you. God is angry with you. If, if God was to throw me in hell, God is angry with you. It would only make me even more against God. So, well, you know, that, well, actually the Bible would say that. Because you're an enemy of God now, when well, God judges you, gonna you're, you're, it is going to happen. What, it is going to happen. That, that's not what's going to happen. It is going to happen. The wrath of God abides on you. in hell for acting against the Lord. No, God, do, have you ever sinned? Have you ever told a lie? What's a sin? Lying is a sin. Transgression of the law is a sin. So you're a sinner. So you have broken his but, law. You know, and because of that, now, God is angry you're with you. assuming that I've told lies. But every human has lied, every human has sinned against God. None of us are good. And so all of us are under his condemnation. But Jesus, in his love of you, took your sin. And when you put your faith and trust in Jesus, Jesus Christ, to take my sin. but he took it because you can't pay it. The wages of sin is death. Now that's you need to believe it. it. Well that's not up to you. You don't how get to see I it how see you want to see it. God. Is that if the devil calls for people to act against the law, he's the one who has to pay. No, it. you're the one responsible for your I'm own sin. Responsible you're responsible for you. you. You, I don't like the devil, and I'm, you know, but I'm telling you, you are responsible for you. Responsible. No, you're responsible. No, God is going to hold you responsible. responsible. The devil is responsible for bringing sin into the world. I am. If a person tempts you, as it is written in the scriptures, God will judge the tempter, not the tempted. You are under his condemnation. No. God is going to you're, judge you're, you. You're, you're responsible. You're not, you can't blame the devil for when you sin against God. The, the devil's the devil you're, you're he's a deceiver on idol, right? no you got to take responsibility for your sin you i am responsible we can't blame the enemy for the things that we do we have to take responsibility for that because god is a righteous judge and he's going to judge the devil for his wickedness and he's going to judge us for our wickedness he's no respecter of persons so if you don't take responsibility for yourself and you blame the devil when you stand before jesus he's going to hold you to account for your own sin but jesus paid that That's sin and when you believe complex. no it's not when you it put is. your faith and trust in it jesus is. christ for the forgiveness of sin can I give you a gospel of John? You don't want it. All right, okay, all right. Well, anyway, I pray for you. Let me explain one thing to you before I go. Let me explain one thing before I go. Let me explain one thing before I go. Because I that's weakness. Okay, let me explain one thing before I go, okay? Jesus said that unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, and you confess this with your mouth, Jesus will save you. That will be salvation. My advice to you is to read the Gospel of John, get to know Jesus, put your faith and trust in him and him alone for the forgiveness of sin, and you will have salvation. God bless you, sir. All right, okay.